recently there's been a lot of changes in the law regarding driving with diabetes and it's most essential for people to realise actually what is involved with this. Driving with diabetes falls into several categories. For instance, if you are newly diagnosed and your diabetes is being controlled by diet alone, you don't need to inform the DVLA about your condition. Likewise, if you move on to tablet and diet medication and you're driving a Group 1 vehicle or motorcycle, which I mean a standard private car, you don't need to inform the DVLA. If you're driving a public surface vehicle, a uh, lorry, any Group 2 vehicle, even when you're on tablets, then you have, to, you have to notify the DVLA and there is a form to fill in for that point of view. So really, general motoring, ordinary private motoring, motorcycling, providing you're not on insulin, then you're okay. If you've gone for insulin, then yes, DVLA has to be informed. The DVLA wants people to either self-declare, there'll be a form that they'll need to fill out, and for a random selection of individuals, a form is sent to their the person who looks after their diabetes to say, are they testing their blood glucose before they're driving? So it's important that you do. You can't lie on the form. You must tell the truth. I can't lie on the form. So I, if somebody's not testing, and I know they're not testing, I can't lie on the form, and it may well be that the DVLA will go, oh, look, no testing, no licence. The DVLA regulations state that you must inform them if, if you take insulin, that you must test your blood glucose level before you drive, and it must be above five before you drive the car. And if it's falling or it's below five, you need to have a carbohydrate snack just to boost your level so that you're safe to drive. There are some exclusions to informing DVLA that you are on insulin therapy. These are gestational diabetes. This is diabetes that is diagnosed during a woman's pregnancy. Myocardial infarction, also called a heart attack, where a person will have temporary insulin therapy or insulin therapy for a clinical trial. A person must inform the DVLA if this treatment continues longer than three months. I plan my journey. Uh, I look at uh, obviously the length of the journey. Uh, I look into uh, how many stops I'll take on that journey. Uh, I'll, I would do a two hour journey absolutely maximum, but anything over that and I would stop every hour to hour and a half. The recommendations that we would give um, is that the person always carries some form of identification in their car to say who they are, the fact they've got diabetes and what medication they take. Also to carry their blood glucose testing equipment so that when they stop for a rest on a long journey or if they stop for lunch during their working day, they can test their blood glucose level easily. But they also need to carry some form of hypo treatment in the car. Be prepared and take some something with you, a snack, take uh, something that you know you're going to get some energy from and don't drive for too long a period. One of the worst hypos I've ever had was I had to take my son to university for the very first time. I'd only done the journey once before. We had a deadline to meet. We had a good journey, but then we hit some very, very heavy traffic in Birmingham. And I got very stressed over it, the fact that we were gonna be late. And when I got to Birmingham, I, I had a massive hypo. And uh, I, I was, well, for about two to three hours, I just sat there in the car, just waiting to recover. And that certainly taught me a lesson, just how important I have to plan my journeys in future. Hadn't really taken much notice of it up till that point. Thought, well, I'm, I'm fine, I've never had an issue before. But that taught me a lesson. If the person is driving and they feel they might be having a, a hypo, if they feel their blood glucose is dropping low, they must pull the car over to the side as soon as it's safe to do so take the keys out of the ignition, put the keys on the floor and get out of the driver's seat, check their blood glucose and if it's below four, treat it appropriately as they would normally treat a hypo. Take their follow-on hypo treatment, retest their blood sugars after 10 or 15 minutes, but again, wait for 45 minutes after their blood glucose has come back to normal before they start driving again. Informing DVLA. There are certain circumstances when a person with diabetes must inform the DVLA irrespective of what treatment they are on. Impaired hypoglycemic awareness. This is when there is a delay in recognising symptoms of low blood sugar. Experiencing a disabling hypo whilst driving. This is when your blood sugar drops so low that you require the assistance from someone else to treat it. Laser treatment. Requiring laser treatment or equivalent to both eyes 
or if you have no sight in one eye and are having laser treatment to the other. Reading a number plate. You must be able to read a number plate at 20.5 metres or 67 feet whilst wearing corrective glasses. Circulation or sensation problems in feet or legs. This is if these problems require you to drive only certain types of vehicles, for example, automatic vehicles or those with hand-operated brakes and accelerator. If you have had a blood glucose level which is so low that you have required help from somebody else, you need to make a note of that. If you have two episodes of a blood glucose level which is so low that you've required help within any 12-month period, the DVLA want you to surrender to surrender your driving license because they deem that you are at risk that you are at risk and the other road users are at risk and you need to surrender your driving license for one year from the time of the first episode if somebody has a c2 license so that's a, a truck a big truck or a public service vehicle license unlike for a group one license where you can have two in any 24 uh, any 12 month period if you drive a, a lorry or you drive a public service vehicle you, can, you can't have any episodes of a blood glucose so low requiring help from somebody else, because if you do, your licence will be revoked. For further information, contact the DVLA by telephone on 0300 790 6806 or write to them at DVLA Swansea SA 991TU or online at www.gov.uk forward slash contact hyphen the hyphen DVLA.